Hey, this is Adam, and today I'm going to answer a question that I've seen a few times, had a couple people ask me, and it's about Todoist and how to attach files. Uh, so there's good news and bad news. The good news is it's really easy. <laughs> the bad news is if you're just using uh, the free version of Todoist, uh, you can't really do it. There's no native um, file attachment. So like I created this uh, little task that says add a file. And normally what you could do is click here on the comment uh, icon that's, that allows you to add notes or do things like that. If you click on that, you can see it gives you this pop-up, premium only. Uh, notes and file attachments are premium features. Okay, so uh, work around for that if you want to use the free version. Is Generally what I would do is just um, type either a space or just some sort of something to give yourself some room and then paste in a link. You know, in this case, I'm just going to uh, do it. You could do like Evernote um, if you use Evernote you could certainly um, export or I forget exactly what it's called but when you right click on a note and share or you get a link to it um, you could do that and then copy and paste that in um, and that's nice you can just click and open it up you know any app that gives you any sort of a, of a link um, you know Google Drive things like that so that's a quick way of getting around that um, and that's kinda handy too because sometimes when you paste in just a link it'll give you um, like the title or maybe the metadata pulls from that and gives you a name so anyways, that's a quick way around that. Uh, hopefully that helps you if you don't want to pay for Todoist Premium. Um, that's a quick way to do things for free.